Hi, have you ever wondered how to paint a bird's feathers? Well, in this video, I'll show you how I painted this wooden whirly gig. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maureen White, and I love sharing my creative process with other folks. And if you got something out of this video, or you found that the painting technique of the feathers was helpful, please leave a comment below. Now this is a photo that I will be using as a color guide for painting my bird and we'll also use it as a line guide for determining the different section of the bird's body. Now making the line or the drawing on the wood, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. There's the beak line and then there's this little area behind the beak that you see that I drew is for the light gray and then a line that demarcates the belly from the top of the bird. Now I've chosen four different colors for my um, palette here. I have a cayenne blue and I have an aqua and then there is Payne's Gray, which is a very dark kind of gray blue. And then I have um, white. Now, my first layer is I take a little mix of the aqua and the cayenne and white. And I'm going to put the main color on the body, that strong dark blue. And I even it out as I go so it really looks like a solid um, color. And then before that is dried, then I'm going to take little bits of the aqua, the white, and some of the cayenne and use the angular part of my brush at the very at tip and stro make strokes that go downward, which will create that texture of the feather. Uh, th I find that this angular brush is most useful when painting birds, whether it's on wood or on paper. And I'm just keep adding little bits of aqua and white, lights and darks, and then putting the Payne's gray, which is a kind of a bluish gray, on the tips where the bird has those kind of dark markings. I found this really fun to do. It was very satisfying as a painter and uh, to try to create that feathered effect. And it looks really good too on the belly of the um, bird with the white. And so you just build up layer upon layer until you, your eye tells you, hey, that looks pretty good. <laughs> now as I finish the blue of the body, then I'm going to move on to the underside, the belly with the orange and the white, then on to the beak and the eye. I'm going to speed up the video now, and I hope you stay all the way to the end to see how this bird is completed and put together and flying in a garden.
thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it somewhat entertaining and hopefully helpful if you're into painting birds. I will be posting another video showing you how I assemble the birds and where to get the parts. And if you'd like to keep up to date with all of my videos, you can subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.